Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to another edition of Real Talk Huntsville. I am Tim Knox with Revolved Realty along with... Kim Savage. Yay! This is number four, I think. Or five. Is it five? I don't know. Four or five. I don't know. I feel like it's about 20 something. <laughs> Are you already tired of it? <laughs> so, Never. This is the highlight of my week. I understand. Well, hey, this is the show uh, that we come on every week for about a half hour or so. And we just talk about what's going on in uh, North Alabama, mm -hmm. uh, everything from real estate, because we are a real estate company, Revolved Realty, but we also talk a lot about uh, what's in the news, business, entertainment, uh, anything that comes to mind, we typically- uh, Just blurt it out. We just drone on <laughs> about it. So Kim, what is going on with you? Uh, you know, not much going on with me this week. Um, I guess the big thing on my mind today is, you know, last week it was my bow on my shirt. That's right. We were obsessing so, over your bow. Yeah. Today is actually my hair. Really? And, yeah. We were kind of mentioning your hair. We don't want to point this out, but <laughs> <Shaggy>. we will. <laughs> it's, it's Tim's haircut time. It's my haircut time. Although yours, I feel like, goes a little bit more smoothly. You have your appointment, what, once every well, four weeks? Well, the reason I have that every four weeks is because someone said, you really need a haircut. And I'm That's like, true. yeah. And then so she makes me a standing appointment. I Which did. my wife is like, I'm so glad Kim grooms you now. <laughs> so I, 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 I track my grooming, my haircuts by the videos. I'll look and go, okay, it's yeah. it's Friday at 3 is my haircut day. Yeah. So, but you're you've got this... It's a whole production. It's a newscaster Kim started hair. working on this hair <laughs> 45 minutes ago. And, I mean, it turned out all right. Well, it looks, I think it, it turned out okay. better than all right, I would say. No, I'm just kidding. There was, there was a know? flat iron involved. <laughs> there was a flat iron involved. You know, women, we spend, most women, I think, spend a good deal of time on An our hair. An inordinate amount of time. And yeah. we kind of you know, schedule things around our hair. Is it a day that you wash your hair? Is it a day that you don't wash your hair? Because everyone has these, I think. Yeah. Or is it raining outside? You know, is it too humid for my hair? It oh. might be frizzy. So there's a lot of time and planning that goes into hair. <laughs> and we ask our friends, how does my hair look? Do you think I should get my hair cut shorter? Yeah. Do you think I should get more high? You know, like we discuss hair a lot. It's really funny on my, you know, the Facebook memory wall. Mm -hmm. Last year at this time, you had really long hair. I did. And I sent that to you, and I'm like, you shouldn't have cut your hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I it mean, looks good. I get, it's very I, anchorish. It is. It's my news anchor hair. Yeah, yeah I look I like uh, Shaggy from Scooby Doo. I mean, Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> we just need a Scooby. Yeah. The other thing that I think is the highlight of the day is I'm wearing my squeaky shoes. Yeah, he came in this morning to the office, and I heard him coming around the corner, and he's worn those squeaky shoes before. It sounded like I was walking in, in wet cement. It kind of does, but tell everyone why you have to wear the squeaky shoes. This okay. is a funny story. Okay, I, I normally wear jeans and cowboy boots. Yes, you do. It's all I've ever worn, even from the time I was a little kid. Jeans and cowboy boots. Well, my wife, Melissa, my home wife, um, <laughs> decided that I needed to be, uh, my, my style needed to be updated somewhat. Yes. Because my jeans were the old Wrangler, you know, it looks like, Big she says jeans. it looks like a family moved out of the seat, <laughs> you know, because I'm old now, my ass is flat, and just, anyway. Yeah. So they're, they're boot cut jeans, so they will go down over my boots. Yes. Well, Melissa, in her infinite wisdom, I uh, decided that I needed what are called skinny jeans. Skinny-ish. Skinny-ish, yeah, skinny because they're I'm not, not super skinny. I mean, there they're, are they're those They're like peg leg. Skinny. They're not that bad. Maybe we should take a picture later and we'll put it in the comments <laughs> okay. of what, we can do like a vote. Who likes Tim skinny jeans? Who likes the other jeans? Yeah, well, the point is the, the legs are, are skinny. Mm -hmm. So they will not go down. My boots, the, the jeans will not go over my boots. Yes. So uh, when I wear these, and I only wear these jeans when I get to the end of my closet. Here's how, you talk about your hair. Mm -hmm. Here's how I do. Oh I, I start at this end of my closet and I work my way down until all of the clothes are dirty. Oh, okay. That's quite a system. Right? So <laughs> when I get through all my old Wranglers and baggy mm -hmm. pants, I get to the, the skinny boy jeans, oh. peg legs. <laughs> And I have to wear those. And on those days, I have to wear squeaky shoes. Squeaky shoes. And the here's the kicker with the squeaky shoes. These are shoes that Melissa bought me because you don't have to wear socks with them. Oh, yeah. That's good. I cannot stand not to wear socks with these shoes. I am so uncomfortable now. I think they squeak because my feet are sweating so much. Well, you can get little socklets. Well, then see, those just bother <laughs> me too. I don't think a man's ankles should be exposed. 
know. I I'm mean, a bit kind of, of a, a prude. trend now, though, is to show your ankles a yeah. little bit. But the bottom line is, I have these squishy shoes, which I'm told are very stylish. They are. They're nice shoes. But for some reason, when I wear them, and again, I think it's I probably should have worn socks mm -hmm. Sock or just lips. just go barefoot. So <laughs> I, I could not sneak up on a deaf, dumb, and blind man in these you shoes. You could you not. <laughs> so we anyway. know where you are in they the are. office. Yeah. So that is the. The highlight of the day is my squeaky shoes and your hair. It is. I mean, <laughs> this is what we do. Besides real estate, this is what we do. This is what we do. Speaking yeah. of real estate, there is a point to this show. We haven't found it yet, but we're getting there. We work towards um, that. Yeah, so North Alabama real estate continues to uh, market, continues to slow down just a little bit, but I think we are... Uh, plateauing because we're seeing a lot more showings mm -hmm. uh, and getting a lot more offers. So mm -hmm. things are going to pick up. Um, just pulled some stats from um, last week. And again, we like uh, Huntsville Business Journal, AL.com, Huntsville Blast. These are great websites because they, they save us a ton of time. Yeah, we just steal uh, their stuff, right? We did, well, we don't steal <laughs> we it. Don't we don't steal. We report it. We report. And we give them credit from the Huntsville Business Journal. Absolutely. Yeah, January monthly report shows a dip. Um, so that just simply means that things are slowing down a little bit, but the market here is still strong. Uh, looking at the numbers for January, there were, it's Huntsville, Madison County, 383 homes sold last uh, month. That's compared to 524 last year. Wow. And a lot of that has to do with we have less inventory now. Mm -hmm. So uh, the average price in Huntsville, Madison County, 346000 was 334 a year okay. ago. Um, the, what is this? Uh, a, I can't even read my own Maybe notes. Maybe you need your glasses. <laughs> You're welcome. Whoa, it's amazing. <laughs> Uh, 28 days on market compared to 13. That's one of the things we're seeing is uh, homes are sitting a lot longer, especially mm -hmm. homes in the upper price ranges. Although last month there were 994 pending sales. Nice. So the market here, the inventory is still low, demand is still high. Of course, the interest rates, everybody's slowing down. But according to Moody's analytics, uh, they expect interest rates to be between six and six and a half for the entire year, nice. uh, which are, you know, again, my first house in 1989, I think I had a 14% arm. Right. Oh my God. And yeah. that was, uh, you yeah, know, that was high. But uh, yeah, they also say fewer investors are uh, in the market right now waiting for things to come back down, Absolutely. which is good for traditional home buyers. Mm -hmm. It was one of the things we saw here last year was, uh, a lot of investors here buying properties for cash right. and traditional home buyers just did not have much of a chance. So demand is still high. Inventory is still low. Uh, the one thing that I'm seeing a lot, though, is especially with builders offering concessions yeah. and closing. Um, I looked at a tour to neighborhood this morning called Eastview, which is in Madison City, one of the very few construction zones mm -hmm. in Madison City because there ain't a whole lot of available land. Mm -hmm. um, but Stone Martin, uh, one of the premier builders here, has gone through and uh, it's a one one road development. Mm -hmm. Homes there are in the 750s, mm -hmm. but they're gorgeous. And they are offering, I think, up to $15,000 in concessions. Nice. And they build a beautiful house. They do build a beautiful house. I did a video, which will be on uh, soon, but they were at, offering like um, $7,500 in builder concessions mm -hmm. and then if you go with the preferred lender it was up to five thousand dollars in concessions nice. so it's actually interest rates aside it's a great time to buy here Absolutely. because prices are tampering down uh, and it, there are ways around high interest rates sure. as we talk about a lot but yeah so uh, the housing market here is robust so Absolutely. yeah so what's happening news wise a lot going on big news for Huntsville, uh, you want to start with In yours? In the news, yeah. yeah. Here we go. City of Huntsville once again receives triple A credit rating. That's a very big deal. It is a very big deal. Moody's Investors Service and S&P Global Ratings have once again awarded Huntsville triple A credit ratings received by only a minority of government entities in the nation. So, yeah, that that is Huntsville. the credit rated the triple credit rating means that the city can borrow money cheaper mm -hmm. because they have such a high credit rating. And this is a credit rating that is, as you said, it's pretty rare. There are very yes. few municipalities, larger or smaller. Um, looking at the numbers, I mean, they're going to need some credit because Huntsville is doing a lot of building, mm -hmm. a lot of expansion. Uh, $75 million for public parks and other recreational activities. Mm -hmm. We need more dog parks. 
We do need more we dog do parks. Need more we dog are parks. a dog loving community for sure. Pet we loving really, in general. We really are. Uh, Thirty million dollars for economic development, land, and infrastructure. Thank God, infrastructure's on the list. Absolutely. Hey, every other pothole I hit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes. 50 million for a sewer plant expansion, major equipment, 50 million for schools, including a central office and Career Tech Academy. So mm -hmm. the fact that they got that rating means they can borrow the money to build this stuff uh, cheaper. And the people that invest in those bonds are going to be attracted here. So Absolutely. Just in case that wasn't in your notes. <laughs> it was, but I'm glad that you covered it. Thank you very much. <laughs> what else can I overread you about? Uh, well, uh, Huntsville. <laughs> Here we got another ranking. One of the best cities for working parents. Really? Yes. They have uh, the Huntsville Madison County Chamber Foundation has renewed its partnership and for 2023 with the National Best Place for Working Parents program. So, um, you know, there was a survey. You had to complete some questions. And, Which is um, usually what a survey is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that You're out welcome. as well. So, um, yeah, so more than 90 local companies um, earned the designation as one of the best places to work for oh, family-friendly cool. organizations. 83% um, of millennials would leave one job for another with stronger family-friendly support mm -hmm. uh, was one of the things that they were reporting in this report. Um, and then um, over 60% of working parents said child care issues have caused them to miss work. Mm -hmm. So everyone is definitely looking for options where, um, you know, they're supported as working parents. Now that, you know, most, most families, I think, or most households have two people in the mm -hmm. household that both work. So I think this is definitely important stuff. Well, it, it is. Uh, what was the last one there? This is a, a statistic I think is interesting. They've lost, employers lose $13 billion annually. Yeah, to child to care child, challenges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you've seen a lot of companies around here actually starting daycare, mm -hmm. uh, letting you work from home, much yeah. more flexible. It really is a changing time. Remember back when, you know, my dad didn't work. He was a drunk by profession, but I'm sure your dad, you, you were expected to be in the office 10, 12 hours a day. Sure. And if you were a man and your wife was in labor, you'd see her after work. <laughs> right. I mean, really, that's the way it, it was. <laughs> yeah. How, how are you, dear? I was going to come see you on my lunch break, but I had right. to smoke a cigarette. Uh, <laughs> but it, it really is a changing time. And I think yeah. that's just reflective of the, you know, the family dynamic. And it's very family friendly here. A yeah. lot of folks here are still working from home. Yeah, a lot of people do for sure. But yeah. I think we're seeing a trend, it trending toward more people going back to the office, don't yeah. you think? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think people want to, I mean, you, we, we're here every day. Yeah. Um, I don't think we ever not came in. We just wore masks. Yeah. We I, just... I had a Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. But I think, like, like my daughter, Sierra, she works at SAIC, which is a big mm -hmm. defense contractor here. Mm -hmm. And she's worked for them for like two years and has never they has never been in the facility yeah and they basically gave away that that group's workspace so they have nowhere mm -hmm. left to go back to but now you they know, have to work from home There's well no they had to and i mean it she's like if they ever go back to work i quit i'm yeah. not gonna go but you what are your what are your thoughts on the the uh this is completely off topic but somewhat similar the uh time off for new dads was it pregnancy leave for dads what do you think about that well I mean, I'm kind of having mixed feelings about that, but I'm going to say overall, I think it's good for dads to have time so. off to spend, yeah, to spend with the baby and to support, you know, the that transition, especially, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's especially important if you are a new, if maybe if it's your first child, you don't sure. know exactly what to expect, you need all the support you can. And I think too, in places like Huntsville, we have a lot of people that move from other areas, maybe mm -hmm. they don't have family in the area to sort of come over and help out. True. You live down True. the street from from your daughter. Five doors. So. Yep. And my other one lives with me. Yeah, so, so that yep. might, you know, that might not mm -hmm. be as helpful. But I yep. think for people who need a little bit of extra support, I think the time off would be yeah. great. So if they're given the time off to be a parent, that's great. But if the dads go, I'm going to golf every day. I think that, for three months. that's <laughs> not exactly what, what the goal is. But um, yeah, I think kinda, it's nice. Kinda, yeah. I did too. I just, uh, what is it, like three months or so is, a, is this on average for a lot of companies? I think for some companies yeah. it is. I think the standard is more like eight weeks though, maybe. Maybe no, like two I'm months. I'm going to go for three months. Even <laughs> that, look, let me tell you something. I'm a dude. After one week, we're like, can we go back to work? Yeah, I think that's probably the <laughs> this case. This kid won't like, shut we'll up. We'll give you three months, but we'll probably see <laughs> we'll you in a month. You'll be done. We'll You'll be out of there. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, what 
What else is going on? Well, spring is in the air. <laughs> it's spring like is 70 coming up. Today. I've got my spring color on today. Uh, spring stuff to do. I want it to kind of cover some things mm, right? in the Tennessee Valley, Lovely. things to do. The Home and Garden Show, which yep. is kind of coming a Huntsville up. staple, and that's coming up. They will have one more than 150 home experts. This is March 3rd through 5th. It is at the Von Braun Center. Um, I looked up the ticket prices. It's $10 for a weekend pass or $8 for a single day. I'd say if you think you might be going, just get the weekend pass. <laughs> Spend the extra two bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Spend the yeah. $10. Do you, are you going this year? Did you go last year? Mm, I don't think I went. No, I didn't go last year. I, I think I went the year either. before, though. Yeah, it's it's okay. I mean, you, there, there's I mean, there's so many different things there, yeah. especially in our business. If you're in real estate, it's always good to kind of go through and see what's happening. Yeah, there's all sorts of things yeah. there. There's... The one that confounds me is the hot tub show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. An entire weekend show dedicated to hot tubs. Well, I mean, you got to put a lot of thought into hot tub purchase, <laughs> so. apparently. I'm going gonna, gonna to buy the $8 ticket because I'm not going to be there very long <laughs> looking at hot tubs. What else? That's funny. <laughs> um, origami. Do you know what origami is? Yes, it's paper sculptor. Oh, I, I didn't think he'd actually know that. Or actually, it's a type of uh, sushi. That, like, no. no. <laughs> yes. Origami. You didn't think I would know what origami is? I kind of didn't think you would. You know, you wear squishy shoes and your IQ suddenly drops. <laughs> Origami <laughs> in the Garden at the Huntsville Botanical Garden, which right. we mentioned on the last, last show, week. is yep. nominated for one of the best botanical gardens in the nation. It's very pretty. Uh huh. By USA Today. Um, so it's a fun new exhibit in the Huntsville Botanical Gardens. It starts in March and runs through the summer. It's created by Santa Fe artist Jennifer and Kevin Box. Um, and it is a world-renowned, they're world-renowned origami artists. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. it'd be cool. The, the Botanical Garden always has certain themes based on the season, and mm -hmm. for spring it's origami. That's great. I think great. that's fun. I'm, I'm fascinated with origami. Remember, what was the movie, uh, Blade Runner with Harrison Ford? The cop uh, did origami and yeah, he would yeah. leave them. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we talked about before too, um, football, which also is known as soccer, soccer. here in the US, mm -hmm. but this is the Huntsville Football Club, but it's soccer. Right. Um, and yeah, so it's inaugural season is almost upon us and they are going to be playing at, so Joe Davis Stadium is still under renovation. Okay. We talked about that before. The old Huntsville Stars baseball stadium. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. So although those renovations are still taking place, the team will still play a few home games in the preseason at John Hunt Park and at UAH. Yeah. Um, and I think this is cool. The tickets for that are only $8 also. So that's a fun <laughs> event a for $8. Yeah. yeah, so they have quite a few um, home games, uh, which are listed on a website that we can always share A lot share of people are super yeah. excited about this. I mean, we're for the longest, we didn't, we didn't really have teams. We mm -hmm. had the Huntsville Stars back, what, 40 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, which was a minor league baseball team. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got like the Havoc, which is a hockey team that's Havoc very popular hockey. here. Mm -hmm. We've got the Trash Pandas, which yep. is the baseball, and now we're getting football soccer. Yeah, and don't we have like an indoor actual football league team? Uh, an arena team, arena I believe team? we do. Yeah, yeah so, so we're they're all, you know, they're all minor league because of the population here, but the fact that we we have them and they're building these stadiums to support them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Trash Panda Stadium is, is an amazing It's a great yeah. stadium. I love that stadium. Very good. Yeah, so St. Patrick's Day coming up. Is it? Yeah, March 17th. Going to be wearing the green few, that day? Just a few weeks. Uh, yeah. I will have to have plan to my green. closet so I get to my green clothes. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure they're clean <laughs> <laughs> about that time. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, we can talk more about St. Patrick's Day as it approaches, but... Put that on your calendar for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. It's going to be on March the 11th, actually. So a little okay. before St. Patrick's Day. And last weekend was the Mardi Gras? Last was that weekend it? was Mardi Gras. We actually had a Mardi Gras Parade. We did. Did you go? Mm -mm, I did not go. Yeah, missed those three cars. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a pretty fun parade. I'll get parade. hate mail on that one. I, I think it's a lot of fun. really will. Maybe we can edit that out. Yeah. Have you, have you ever been to Mardi Gras in, in New Orleans? Well, you know, I grew up in Louisiana. Did you? Mm -hmm. Got a bit of Cajun in So you. I've been to New Orleans for Mardi Gras a few times. It's a scary event. <laughs> um, yeah. Lafayette actually has a great Lafayette, Louisiana. Has really? a great yeah. Mardi Gras. And Mobile has a That's wonderful right. Mardi They're Gras. They're kind of down there. Well, yeah. we, we try to celebrate everything here. Mm -hmm. You know, Mardi Gras, St. Patrick's Day is a very St. big Patrick's thing Day. here. Lots mm -hmm. of other stuff. But um, 
What else? You got more to talk that's about? That's good. That's, yeah. that's all I had uh, to talk about. One now. of the highlights of my week last week was that I got James Taylor tickets. Ooh, fun. I bought them. Yeah, they went on sale. And I made a what I think was a very smart decision. I listened okay. to my wife. Oh, that's always, uh, that's because, always a smart yeah. choice. Well, we went to see Stevie Nicks. I talk about this on every video, hoping she'll connect with me. Mm -hmm. um, we went to see Stevie Nicks, and we were on the floor. So we were like 12 rows back, and I forgot, when you go to a concert, it doesn't matter who it is, uh, everybody on the floor stands up the mm -hmm. entire time. Mm -hmm. So I'm two hours in going, my feet are killing me. I'm mm -hmm. 62, mm -hmm. and I'm wearing cowboy boots, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? And so uh, when uh, we heard James Taylor was coming, my wife was like, we don't want to be on the floor. Yeah. It's too expensive. Everybody stands up. So we did get tickets Front, the first riser, front row. Nice. Yeah, so That'll if there's anybody standing in front of me, if I just toss them over the rail yeah. or call security and tell them to move. So um, <laughs> there's a lot of folks coming to the Orion. Yeah, um, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, James Taylor's there uh, January 20th. Robert Plant, Allison Krauss, mm -hmm. April 30th. That's going to be great. Mm -hmm. uh, who else? Martina McBride. We talked about her. Yeah. Fish. Is coming July 11th. Okay. Are you a fish fan? No. Mm -mm. Never yeah. was a fish fan. Never. I was never a fish fan either, but a lot of people are. Mm -hmm. uh, Billy Strings is coming for two nights. Do you know what Billy Strings is? Um, no idea. Oh, my God. And you grew up in Louisiana. Yeah. Billy Strings is, he is like the uh, most popular bluegrass artist right now. He's only like, I don't know, maybe 20, 21. Okay. But he's been playing since he was a little kid. Really? And there are YouTube videos of this kid. The guitar is about is bigger than him, oh, and wow. he is unbelievable. Okay. So a lot of folks in the guitar community I'm check him out. are uh, very sure. happy or that he's coming. There's also a lot of stuff going on that the uh, Orion that is not music. I wanted to say Backstage Pat pop-up with the Veggie Chef. Okay. I like that. What's veggie. that? No idea. <laughs> is it veggies or like vegan or vegetarian? Well, it or is. Do we know? I don't know. What's the difference between might, veggie and vegan? Oh, there's lots of difference. Vegans are vegetarians with attitude. Yes. Vegans don't eat any animal products whatsoever. No eggs? No eggs. No milk? No, no, no milk. Dang, no cheese. None of that. Uh, let's see. Well, this is Backstage Pass pop up with the veggie chef. Is that Adair Mason? Adore? Like. Mm -hmm. We're going to say Adore because I think it sounds better. It does. Um, the Backstage Pass pop-up series brings regional flavor, allowing chefs to showcase their dishes in a world-class venue. Oh, it's Look. vegan. I see. Yep. I'm reading ahead. Oh, uh, see, I can't go to that. <laughs> People, uh, I, I smell like bacon. Vegan. Yeah, yeah really. I know. I'm going to yeah. always pick a so steak. So this, this is kind of cool, though. It's a, uh, a three-course dinner. Okay. Uh, $60 a person with a three-course brunch for $40 a person. So, oh, they're having the amuse-bouche. Amuse-bouche. What the hell does that mean? Oh, I don't, it's like an appetizer, French. I think, right? Amuse yeah. means funny. Maybe it's a funny bush. <laughs> uh, I actually don't think that's what it is. But. <laughs> $60 to have a funny bush. <laughs> now, here's one that you can relate. Full immersion yoga with, with Maria. Maria. Now, what is that all about? So Maria is kind of a You're local a yoga celebrity. Yes. Yeah. Maria is a little bit of a local celebrity, actually. She teaches women's, I guess we'll call them wellness Sad. classes. So yoga, meditation, um, you know, all sorts of things wow. with Maria. Well, this yeah, is she's very a, cool. And she's a really cool lady as yeah. well. So shout out to Maria. Shout out, Maria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is cool. So they've got a lot going on at the Orion other than just the, uh, the concerts and stuff. So I yeah. think that is... Super cool. Lots of fun uh, stuff. In yep, and you can go to theorionhuntsville.com. I love the Orion Amphitheater. I was very impressed. So. Yeah, it's very pretty. All right, very good. So we have a uh, an interview we this week. We do have an interview this week. So my friend Rochelle Sexton from mm -hmm. the Greater Huntsville Humane Society um, talked to me a little bit earlier in the week, and the um, you know we we support the Humane we Society do. here We're at big animal lovers. Realty. We all love animals and. And the Huntsville Humane Society is just a great um, organization. Yep. So we're just going to talk a little bit about what they have coming up this year in 2023 for their fundraisers. Well, hey guys, it is Kim here with Revolved Realty, and I am back with my friend, Miss Rochelle Sexton from the Greater Huntsville Humane Society. Hey, everyone. Rochelle, tell everyone what you do over there at the Humane Society. At 
Currently, <laughs> I am the Director of Marketing and Communication, and okay. I am always out in the community and yes. <laughs> advocating for, for the animals, not only at our location, but within our community as well. Yeah, sure. Um, and you have a full-time job too, don't you? So she does, <laughs> she does this as well, which she's always on the go always with an animal, always looking out for the animals. When I see her out in the community, she's talking about animals. <laughs> always. Yes, she's an animal champion. Mm -hmm. Tell everyone if they're not familiar, maybe they're new to the area, or maybe they just don't know about the Huntsville um, Humane Society. Yeah, awesome. So our Humane Society is a private entity, so we are not chartered under the Humane Society of the United States, although they are a huge resource for us. Sure. And we are right down the road from the new, uh, new municipality in Huntsville, which is Huntsville Animal Services. Mm -hmm. So what a lot of people don't realize about the Greater Huntsville Humane Society is that we are private. So we are funded based on community support, grants, and private donations right. only. So yeah, so that's super important. So it is super important that we, as the community, get involved, support the Humane Society, because you guys are the ones that support really animal services, which I think a lot of people don't actually know the difference between animal services, which is, I guess you would call that a government run sort of agency. Yes. And then the Humane Society, which is like private. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. So it's important that we support all of the animal <laughs> services types things. Absolutely. Um, but definitely the Humane Society is a great place to go. If you're looking for a best friend, if you need a volunteer opportunity, I know you guys are always in need of things like that. Yes. Donations, you have a thrift store? We have a thrift store over at 650 Pratt Avenue, very close to downtown Five yeah. Points area. Yeah. And that serves 100% back to the animals at the shelter as well for donations and or purchases. Yeah. And if you love thrifting, it's just a cute thrift store. So even if you're not interested in the animals, just go for the thrifting because <laughs> it's a good thrift store. Yeah, I think we hooked you the first time we met you over there. You really yeah. did. I left, I think I left with a chair, a couple of outfits, like some dishes, mm -hmm. like, yeah, all sorts of stuff. It's a good one. It's a good one. Okay, so again, tell everyone where the Humane Society is. It is on Johnson Road. It is. It's at 2812 Johnson Road. That is okay. in southwest Huntsville. Yeah. We are open... Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, perfect. And just a little quick teaser, tell us about a couple of events that you have coming up this 2023 year. 2023 is going to be packed full of fun, exciting events. This year we're bringing back our golf classic. That'll be in May. Okay. And then we are also going to be doing our first ever Back to the Felines. Yes! <laughs> For all of our cat lovers that will support our new cat sanctuary in October and that will be an 80s, 80s themed party. And I'm going to bring my 80s hair for that. Remember? <laughs> We're ready for I'm it, Kim. Already, We're ready for it. I'm already talking about the 80s hair. The crimping iron is coming out. It's going to be crazy. It's yeah. going to be a fun. It's, <laughs> it's going to be a fun be. event. All right. Well, thank you, Rochelle. And again, you guys, if you're looking for a best friend, a volunteer opportunity, or just a great place to go thrifting, check out the Humane Society. Thanks so much, Kim. You're welcome. See you guys next time. Yeah, so uh, excited about the opportunities with the Humane Society. And um, if you're not familiar with them, you can just go to their website. We can post a link in the comments. And um, if you're looking for a new best friend, definitely a place to go. Yep, yep. I love my dogs. I prefer my dogs over most people. Present uh, company excluded. Absolutely. Of course. So, all right. Anything else going on? Are we done? We've got a big week planned here? I think that's pretty much a wrap. Okay. We're just going to coast out through the end of February and come into <laughs> March with a bang. With a bang. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's already feeling like banging weather out there. So it's nice weather. All right, guys. Hey, we appreciate you joining us. We hope you enjoy the uh, wit, wisdom, and banter. Banter. <laughs> and that's putting it kindly, I think. So, <laughs> hey, uh, don't forget, this is sponsored by Revolved Realty. We wrote... Uh, Gosh, almost 100 agents now on the ground here ready to go to work for you. So if you are thinking about moving to the city or you're already here and you need the assistance of the fastest growing little independent brokerage with the best sense of humor, give us a call. That's us. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> right here. Our information is below. All right. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye.